Good morning and praise the Lord, church. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we want to worship you and to give you all the glory for being our teacher throughout. This morning we desire to learn from you and we ask the Lord you may teach us. In Jesus' name we pray. Our text of reflection this morning is gotten from the book of Psalm chapter number 51 and we will read verse 17. The Bible says, My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and concrete heart you, God, will not despise. These are the ones of a prayer that was made by the man the Bible calls a man after God's own heart. It's a man who understood clearly that for our prayers to be heard, one of the components must be broken and concrete hearts. In other words, we want to learn that God is not looking for fancy words. He is not looking for, he's not looking for even words that are so many. Nor is he looking for a prepared prayer repeated ministry. God is not looking for a lip service, but he is looking for a heart service. Because heart is the seat of affection. It's the seat for goodwill. Heart is the seat of our mind. And therefore, having a concrete heart means recognizing our sinfulness, recognizing as being humble and being a teachable. It is hitting our bottom and realizing that only God and following his ways can turn things around. It's not our understanding, it's not our experience, but being humble. Having a concrete heart being, being crushed and broken, which is a prerequisite for being healed, for receiving forgiveness, for receiving transformation, and receiving answers from God. How I pray this morning that the Lord will grant us a concrete spirit, that the Lord will help us to be humble in all that we do, that we may receive His, uh, He may receive our answers. Oh Lord, we thank you for teaching us. And we pray, Jehovah God, where we have been proud that your humility will teach us. We pray, Jehovah God, where we've been full of ourselves, that Lord, you may grant us an opportunity to have concrete and broken spirit, that Lord, you may always receive our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.